What's going on guys? It's Kevin with Optimize Essentials and today I'm going to share with you a squat assessment. The most easiest one on the list. If you haven't seen my other videos on squat assessments and you're a personal trainer, you're someone in the fitness industry, or you're just someone who wants to learn more about how to properly assess a squat, the biomechanics of a human body, make sure you check those out. There will probably be links around or you can navigate my channel. But basically today I want to show you how to assess if your calves are tight or what happens when your heels come up, all right? So a lot of times, every now and then, when I see people squat or when I do the squat assessment to take a look at what's going on with the body, I notice the first thing that happens is when they go down, their heels come up and their feet might even turn in a little bit, all right? If they have really poor ankle mobility, if they have really tight calves, the biggest culprit that you'll see is the heels coming off the ground. It doesn't happen as much, but it definitely happens quite often. Uh, what happens more often in terms of tight calves is when the feet turn out. If you haven't seen my video on how to assess that, well, basically, you know, when your feet turns out, that's when your you know your calves are tight. But if you haven't seen my video on uh, what happens when the dangers of tight calves, what happens when your tights or your calves are excessively tight, then you want to make sure you check that out because it's really important that you stretch those bad boys out. So. Today, this is what I'm going to share with you, how to assess whether or not you have tight calves by paying attention if your heels come up. This is also a very uh, common, if you have, if you experience knee pain when you're squatting, this is also a common reason because if you, if you squat right now with me from getting up from your chair or wherever you are and you really focus on pushing those Push, getting your heels off the ground and then pushing your knee forward, you'll feel a lot of excessive pressure onto your knees. So you want to make sure those knees don't exactly track over your toes. Now some people have different femur lengths and it might be okay for some people, but in most instances I've found that it, cre it creates excessive pressure on your knee. And then if you're overweight and uh, you have bad biomechanics, poor posture, this is going to be magnified, all right? So you want to make sure you really focus on stretching out your soleus. Soleus is one of the biggest issues here in this in this uh, in this scenario where your heels come up. Your calves, if your if your calves, your upper calves, your gastrocnemius are tight, your uh, your feet will turn out as well. So you want to make sure you're attacking both of them. And if you haven't seen my video on the ultimate guide on knee pain, all the different reasons why you might experience knee pain, make sure you check that one out too. Because tight calves contribute to knee pain, but there's many different issues as well. So that's all for today. If you guys enjoyed what you listened or heard or learned today, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share this video with someone that you think will benefit them if you see their heels coming up. And if you're looking for a program that will teach you how to assess yourself, not just in the squat, but how to assess your posture and how to improve your posture by doing certain uh, the right types of stretches, make sure you check out my program. It also teaches you how to eat right for your body type and how to lay the foundation by understanding how to train properly for the beginner all the way to the average gym goer who doesn't know what they're doing, all right? So there you have it. That was a squat assessment on how to assess when your heels come up and make sure you stay subscribed so that you see more videos coming up so that you can expand your awareness on the human body, guys. It's Kevin and I am out. Peace.